welcome to today's video. Today is Wednesday and we have riding lessons and also a blizzard, you guys. There's supposed to be a blizzard today. Snow is melting, do you see it melting? Well, there's supposed to be a blizzard, so we are going to ride horses early today with our trainer. The girls ride a couple times a week with our trainer. We're working on slowing Sophie down and revving Gabby up. Isn't that so funny though? Like, we're working on slowing Sophie and Finn and Gabby's learning to like push her horse to go forward, to move forward. Two kids, same family, different skills that they're working on. Crazy. So it's a point we're expecting like a big, huge storm, but it's actually warm today. Today, today I could ride Penny outside, but we're busy. We're busy. <laughs> We've been coming every day to treat Chino's little abscess. I keep waiting for it to pop, and you never know like where it's gonna pop. It's possible it popped. I'm gonna bring him in. We we're gonna like leave him in the field and then do it after the lesson. I'm gonna bring him in and check his foot now. I saw something drip, but I mean it's snowy and wet, so snow is wet, so it could have been the snow dripping, but it's possible it popped. So Grayfin is way down at the water trough today. I like this field because it's literally a huge field up here and then it goes down into this field too. Good choice of footwear there, sister. Yeah, it's not cold. Hi, Griffin. Griffin. <laughs> Griffin. Griffin. <laughs> I love that name, Griffin. 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 Actually, I think it did pop. Sam checked him and said it didn't pop. It is the tiniest little abscess I've ever seen in my life. So we're going to dress it again and put the poultice on it to draw out all the rest of the stuff. It's just a tiny little little pop. I know I saw something come out of it. Has to untie himself. How does he know how to untie himself? So he pulls either this or this until it undoes. I had to redo it. <laughs> Did you see him untie himself? Yeah. Oh, he chewed it. Finny, <laughs> Finn. He's learning it from, Brent, from... All right, let's go. Let's go, all right, so for people who wanna know, Finn prefers Sophie's saddle. We phoned the saddle guy for the second time to come and it, yeah, Finn prefers Gabby's saddle. Sophie's body prefers Sophie's saddle. But we have to do what the best is for the horse. We also added this little gel pad and he, I think he seems to like it. In the past we've added pads and he hasn't liked it. So we are trying all sorts of different things. I don't like this one piece of mane that just sticks up. All right, let's go. Get bridled and let's go. So over here we also have Gray Finn who's sporting a gray saddle pad. I think we should color you up. Light blue. Light blue. Look at he is an uphill horse. That's crazy how like you can see the difference in how horses are built. He's also flea bitten gray. His mom is flea bitten gray. So if you jump to Oxer, she was nervous about it. How do you feel now about the Oxer? Okay. What? Okay. Did you like it? Was it scary? Yeah. And then was it not scary? No, it's still terrible. Still, are you gonna ride it in your next lesson? Yeah. All right, so Sophie's gonna practice. She's practicing to show. I have learned to walk to Brandon and what everything he does, because <laughs> he tries to sneakily put it up. <gasps> well, we need to get you a blindfold. Then I won't be able to steer. Okay. I don't know where any Finn is. knows what to do. Yeah, and I'll be going over every jump before I can even move <laughs> Yeah, he likes to do that. So, also, I just realized something that Brandon made me realize. So, Gabby went to the chiropractor and I said maybe she's out of alignment or like maybe she's rotated or something because she rides with her shoulder, her right shoulder forward. And the chiropractor said, no, she's fine. I, so I told Brandon, yeah, no, the chiropractor said she's completely fine. And she did. But then when she laid down and she was like doing her exam or whatever, she said like her neck is really tight and she had a lot of like knots and stuff in there and her upper shoulders are really out. And so I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like nothing really is wrong with her. She just has to go back three times once a week for three weeks. And that's why I told Brandon that. And he's like, well, what was wrong with her then? Because usually you only go back every month. And I'm like, yeah, that actually makes sense. There was something wrong. And I said, well, her neck is just out and her shoulders, the top of her shoulders are out. And he's like, that's why she throws her right shoulder forward. I'm like, oh, yes. So we did actually end up making a good choice, taking her to the chiropractor. Like, 
sometimes it takes me a while to figure things out. <laughs> but yeah, her shoulder, her neck was really in bad shape. And, but she wasn't out of alignment, which is what I thought she was. Like I thought she didn't have any rotation anywhere. So, but yeah, her shoulders and her neck were bad, which is what she does. She throws her shoulder forward. So it's probably because she has pain. But the question is this, does she have pain? because of the way she rides and it causes that to happen? Or does she ride the way she rides because she has the pain? What came first, the chicken or the egg, you guys? Yeah, you don't need to put your, look, see that line? Move your foot in a little bit more, a little bit more. See that line right there? It should go. And I'm used to going like this. Yes, so Gabby's uh, sensitizing. Finny. Good job. Gabby's sensitizing Finn. To flowers. Don't be scared of flowers, Finn. He's like, wait, don't I leave now? So the next time we come, maybe you could play with him. Yeah, he's still a little bit huffing and puffing. Yeah, he's changed so much since we started riding him. He used to be like more looky at things, and now he hardly looks at anything. <laughs> I take a picture of that. So that was the first time that she ever like was able to really take a few minutes and just kind of make him hers. Do you know what I mean? Like he's Lee's horse. He belongs to our trainer. She's learning and growing on him. But now she finally has like the feeling that she can do more with him and experiment with things. Yeah, he's hardly like, he's not very, he's hardly lucky anymore. I think like when Gabby first started riding him, he was still new to a lot of the stuff here. He was new to the barn and he was new to the lessons and wasn't used to like riding with all the other horses, didn't even know the other horses. And so it was just like a lot for him. Now he's settled in and settled down. And the reason that I think that this horse is important in Gabby's journey is because what we found last year at Trillium is that the horses that she's ridden thus far have really taught her a lot. But right now she needs to learn how to push a horse and to get a horse to go forward. And she needs to learn herself to ride a forward horse. Like there's this line I feel like when you're a beginner rider that you cross from learning to be a passenger and then learning to actually drive. And this horse needs, and I feel like Gabby needs this horse to teach her to drive. So I feel like that's what I feel like this horse is. And Brandon's always after her, like push him, push him, push him. And so, and Sophie needs a horse <laughs> that can teach her to let her learn all the skills still. Sophie's at a totally different stage. At the end of my lesson, Finn was wanting to put his head down. Yeah. Yeah, like you guys, we know we're not perfect. We know we like a lot of mistakes. We know Finn is not the exact perfect horse for Sophie. It's just horses and it's the same for everybody. It's just that we publicly put our videos out there for people to judge and see all the learning process. And it still surprises me that people don't realize the process of learning and that it's not always beautiful, that to get to beautiful, you have to go through a lot of ugly. And from the Olympic riders to the 12 year olds to the 60 year olds, everybody is ugly first when they ride. Like it just is the process. We're about to change our entire riding schedule so that we can have Elizabeth back. If you guys didn't see Elizabeth, uh, whoa, has missed a couple of lessons. She switched to another night. If you guys didn't notice, Elizabeth hasn't been in our videos for a while. She switched to another night, so we're gonna switch. <laughs> she can't get away from us. You can't get away from us, Elizabeth. Because her parents work a different Yeah, her mom had to change her schedule, so she, she really doesn't want to be away from us. But we changed our lesson, and Barn Boots and Country Roots, they're gonna change their lesson so that all the girls can be back together again. Like, if COVID has taught us anything, it is to preserve friendships and that family stays together. Nobody ever gets left behind when you're a part of the day-by-day -day family. So we're gonna change our riding schedule. So we'll have another private lesson before we have another group lesson. This is Gabby's locker. Like this is what it always looks like. Bring new treats with us, huh? So uh, Chino's abscess did pop. It still has a little teeny tiny bit to pop. Uh, it came up the top. We tried to draw it down. Like we tried to get it as fast as we could and 
draw the stuff down. So I put a poultice over top of where it came out. It came out right at his coordinate man. Can you check Chino's foot? I dressed Chino's abscess today. Not that Gabby wouldn't have done it. I need you to feel it. <laughs> Make sure it's not too tight. I don't think it is. Oh, they're meeting. But you didn't wrap it under the hook, so it's gonna slide up. Failed all the way. She said she's coming back. Goodbye, handsome. Did you give him treats? Yeah. Goodbye. We'll be here in two days. So if he had a breakthrough. What? No, it's only thin. You'll be fine. Wait. Chino's going in a minute. Gabby has to come back and fix his hoof. Bye. Come on. I'm really happy about uh, how Chino's abscess is coming along. It took two days of soaking and then it popped on the third day, just like our vet said that it should. So that's good. And it appears to be just a little teeny tiny, like minuscule. And unfortunately it came out the top of his foot along the cornet band and that can be disastrous. So knock on wood, I am really happy with how it's come along so far and hopefully he'll be back to work like next week. All right, so we are home. It is well, like drizzling and dreary outside. And we're supposed to be expecting like freezing rain and a thunderstorm, no snowstorm. But we got a little uh, package in the mail, so if he wants to open it, so we're going to show you guys. This one has Finn and Sophie. All right, Finn and Sophie. Who's it from? Maybe read the letter first. Daisy said, Daisy thinks That's it's for her. Here, give it to me. Give me the letter. Here's the letter. I'm okay. Dear Laura, Gabby, Sophie, and Sam, I sent you these to thank you for how loving and helpful your channel is. Your channel has helped me with my riding goals and just riding in general. My name is Olivia and I'm 11 years old and she's also from Ontario. All right, let's see what you get. I got a bracelet. Oh, it's adorable. So she said she made these bracelets. That, these are nice beads. I like those. We're going back to the barn so that you don't have to go. Uh, Sophie wants to ride with Elizabeth tonight. Yeah. Sophie had such a good lesson today that she decided she wants to ride with Elizabeth she and ride again. she's riding she's riding another yeah. horse. One that I don't think she's ever ridden before. Denver? Denver. I've rode him before in a lesson. Oh. She was riding Rocha. Oh, she's riding Denver. Oh. I wanted to ride too, but I had a shower. <laughs> so yeah. you can't ride? Well, I can, but that would mean I have to have a shower tomorrow morning because I'm going to the chiropractor. I don't want to sound yeah. like horses. Well, that's a good idea. So this is from yeah, Olivia. Sure, you can open mine. I love these colors. They're like these are really nice beads, you guys. I don't know if you can see. They're adorable. They're like really nice muted baby colors. I like them. Oh my gosh, it's my colors. See, these are our colors. And it says Finn on it. They forgot the pink in this. I love that. And it says Penny, and I'm going to wear it. I'm mad. I love it. I used this kind of string before, and it broke. Oh, and hers worked perfectly. And she got both beads. Aw, that's amazing. She got Finn's name right and everything. What's yours look like? I can't touch it, I'll break it. Yeah, I can use a breaker of stuff. I literally put it on and it breaks. I'm like, I have average size pants. <laughs> <laughs> got this one for Storm, which is adorable. And then, she got orange and yellow for Chino. So nice. Remember when I actually got fan mail? Like, I'll put it on. I'll put it on to try it. All right, she's gonna put it on to try it. gonna break it. It won't break this time. She's gonna break it. It won't Just go slow. Time. I'm gonna break it. There we go. There she did we it. Go. I did it. Boom. Super cute. Bit. You can tie it a little bit tighter. So I uh, thank you, Olivia, for this these beautiful bracelets. bracelets. They're extra special because you have our horses' names on them and because you got our colors right. That's so super kind and so super sweet. Vlogs. This is adorable. We also got a letter from a girl named Elizabeth. She's reading my letter. Don't read her letter. Read. So anyway, she her name is Elizabeth, and she drew I these. I live in Perth, Western. She lives in Perth. Australia. Perth, Australia. Western, Australia. That's amazing. These pictures I of our horses came all the way from Australia. Look. Own horse, his. 
Chino and flat. Finn, Willow and Penny, Something Gracie and Storm. Beautiful. She is an accomplished artist. That is amazing. Bye. Thank you, Elizabeth, for the beautiful letter and the beautiful Flash. pictures. Like, these horses are cute. I like all of them. You have really nice, you make really nice horse eyes. And I love our logo. Thank you. And here's her horse, Flash. I'm gonna wear this. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are.